Hey Sea Peekers, it's Andrew here on the Austin Film Festival red carpet for the upcoming movie Larry Flint for President. I'm excited what they have to say. Good morning, Congressman. I am your worst nightmare come true. Every ounce of energy that I can muster will be devoted toward moving the massive repressive hand of government from the crotch of the American people. My first question was, I know that you've worked on, so, on some narratives in the past. How is the process of making a documentary this time a little different? Well, it's completely different from making a narrative, besides the fact that you are always thinking of story. So um, you're actually thinking of story in a way more than a narrative, because in a narrative you write the script and then you pretty much follow the script through, uh, through the whole process. But with documentary, you're writing the script as you go. And you have an idea, but things change. And you're constantly thinking about like the three-act structure of it. And uh, you're not finished writing until you lock picture. So it's so story-based. And I'm sure that there are a lot of obstacles in making a documentary itself. But can you walk us through some of the obstacles that audiences might not know about uh, producing and distributing a film during COVID? Well, we had to wait uh, a year before we premiered. We were supposed to premiere um, at Tribeca last year, and uh, that didn't happen. So that was difficult. And then uh, they made the decision that they were going to have uh, in-person screenings. And so we then premiered uh, in June. And um, it's been great. I mean, I feel like people are so excited to be back in the theater, watching with other people, and just the excitement of being able to uh, experience this art form in a collective way has been really great. Another thing is, we're all from the University of Texas at Austin. We're uh, mostly communication students. Do you have any advice for up and coming uh, college students trying to enter the entertainment industry? I mean, the entertainment industry is vast. So um, I would say just connecting with a company or a person that you look up to, that you see is doing interesting stuff, and um, being uh, happy to work from uh, just like the bottom up. I mean, my editor was my intern and he, uh, he picked out my company because he had heard from the school that, uh, from BU that I work my interns really hard and that it's not just like uh, delivering coffee kind of job, that you're gonna really be working. And he's like, that's exactly the company that I wanna work for. And so he requested my company and we met and um, when it was time to uh, edit a sizzle and edit a scene, he was there and so we worked together and then he became the editor of my film and is now editing other um, documentary features. Wow, that's amazing. I think my really last question I have is, what do you think you learned the most from the making of the film and what do you want audiences to take away from it? I think that I learned the most, uh, what I learned the most from making this film was that not to ever think you know what someone is, who, who someone is and what someone's agenda is. Um, people are complex, and uh, Larry Flint, who I never would have given a second thought to, I mean, all I knew about him was like the billboards in LA, uh, was, is this fascinating character who's had uh, such a difficult life story and also is uh, a satirist in his own right. So um, that was one thing. And then I would say what I want people to take away from this film is to just uh, not be afraid to speak your mind and to court dissent sometimes as long as it's in the spirit of like healthy discourse and never and not, as long as it's in the spirit of healthy discourse and not putting down someone or inciting violence um, so I think that uh, we've become maybe a little bit uh, too afraid of uh, of dissent and of uh, discourse with each other so just uh, that it's a long road and people forgive and also people grow so um, toleration is really important and to tolerate the ideas of others even if you don't agree with them. Well, yeah, well thank you so much for taking the time and I'm really excited to see Larry Flynn for president. Thank you.